if you can believe it you can receive it if you can conceive it you can attain it the most powerful tool that you have right now in your life in your body is your mind that's why the enemy fights you in your mind he fights you in your mind for as a man thinketh in his heart so is he the devil doesn't have to tie you up for you to be bound he just has to tie up your head with stress with worry with aggravation with low self-esteem with pettiness with anger with hostility with rebellion and he can make you physically sick because your mind is sick you just have to get your mind out of trouble lay your hands on your head and say give me a new mind Give me a new mind means give me a new perspective. Give me a new perspective. Give me a new way of looking at my situation. Give me a new way of looking at my circumstances. Get my mind ready for this year because when I get this year, there's going to be blessings. There's going to be miracles. There's going to be opportunities. Oh yes, it's going to be some struggles. It's going to be some challenges. It's going to be some tests. But even the struggles are an opportunity for me to show off the victory if my mind can handle the change. If you can get your mind out, you can get your money out. You can get your family out. You can get your job out. You can get your career out. You can get your health out. You can get your prosperity out. If you can get your mind out, no devil in hell, no weapon formed against you, no enemy that hates you can stop you from being free. Grab yourself by the head and say, we're coming out of this. How do you hang in there during the hard, difficult times, Les? You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas, unquestionably. You got to have faith, and that faith gives you patience. You got to keep moving and keep plugging away. You got to love it. It's got to be what you are supposed to do. You want to sing, even though they want to invite you to Carnegie Hall, you're going to sing to anybody that listens to you, including singing to yourself. You got to write, even if no one published your book, write because that was given to you to do. You do what it is you're supposed to. You're supposed to build something. You're supposed to create something. I don't know how to do it. Learn. Do whatever is required. Go into action with your dream. And don't avoid where the fights are. Get in the midst of the fight. Get knocked down so you can learn how to fight so you can hold your position. Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you, that you love you and you love life so much that you're going to stand up for something you want. Stand up for what you believe in because you can fall for anything. So what I say to you, that you are powerful. You have miracle working power in your life right now. But you've got to work on yourself. You've got to develop yourself. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out. Selling yourself on you and on your potentials. And you've got to know that you are worth all of your effort. And that the key to your motivation as you get a larger vision of yourself is to know that you have something to give. Is to know that you have a reason for being in the universe at this point in time. Take that leap of faith, trust yourself, and believe that everything is going to be all right.